Good morning and welcome to our Monday morning values assembly. It's the last week this week before half term. It's been quite a long week, a long term, hasn't it? It's been very strange. And we've asked you to do lots and lots of things that we wouldn't normally ask you to do to keep separate, to all face the front, to try and stay away from um, other people who aren't in your bubble. Um, your teachers sometimes have had to stay away from you. The marking has been different. So many things about the school have been different. But actually, what's been really, really good and what has been the same and is the way that you've actually responded to it, the way that you've really followed the rules, taken everything on board and have done yourselves really proud. So thank you so much for that. You've certainly used your values and we've seen so many values being used all the way through this half term. So our final um, values assembly this morning before half term is thinking about our value of, well, you probably should remember. Let's have a look at this PowerPoint to help us um, prompt our memory. Here we go. What is the missing word? The only way to have a something is to be one. I wonder what that is. Ralph Waldo Emerson said this. Let's see whether the next slides can give you a little clue as to what that might be. I'm sure you've probably guessed anyway. Here are Donkey and Shrek. Now, if you've seen any, any of the Shrek films, you will know that they are very, very good. Yep, I think the word we probably want is one that you can guess straight away. They're very, very good friends. They both get into particular scrapes, particular tricky situations, and the other one is always there to help the other one. What about Timon and Pumbaa? Now, I think Timon and Pumbaa are examples of friends that stick together come what may. Those of you who've seen The Lion King will know that um, as a certain scent problem from one of them and the other one stays with his friends come what may whatever he says whatever he does and whatever he smells like they are good friends now what about nemo and dory i think nemo and dory tell us about friendship that lasts a long time friendship that will go to any lengths nemo if you've seen the film well, you know that he's on a right journey um, and gets himself into all types of mischief and all types of mess and time and time again even though Dory has got a few issues of his of, of his own he's always there for Nemo and Nemo is always there for Dory these three um, Harry and Ron and Hermione now they certainly need to rely on each other if you've seen or you've read any of the Harry Potter books or the Harry Potter films, you'll know that absolutely time after time, even faced with great danger, great evil, great peril, even death almost, one of them will always come along and help the other. One of them will always have each other's backs. If ever you needed a friend, you probably needed one like Hermione or Ron or Harry. Doesn't matter where you ended up, they would be there alongside you. And these two are interesting. From The Lion King again. Now, can you remember if you've seen um, The Lion King, the time when Simba was actually denying the fact that he was king, well, king to be. He was going away from what he was born to be. He wasn't interested in becoming a king. He didn't want any of the responsibility. He just wanted to hang around with Timon and Pumbaa and play all day. And yet it was Nala who came along and told him, actually, come on, 
You've got a job to do. You've got a destiny to fulfill. You are going to be king. And when Simba said no, Nala could easily have walked away. But she said the difficult things. She actually made Simba think very hard. And being a friend sometimes isn't just saying the easy things, it's saying the hard things. And Nala had to be tough. And Nala had to make Simba really, really think about what he was doing or who he was before he then realised actually, yes, he was meant to be king. And he went back to rule the Pride Lands. And it was because Nala was courageous. There's another value there. Nala was courageous and brave and said to him some things that she thought might possibly upset him, but she knew to be true. What a good friend Nala was. Now, these two. This is from a film that it hasn't been around for a few years, so some of you might not know them. This is Sully and this is Mike. And they were in Monsters, Inc. and then Monsters University. And I think from Sully and Mike, we get the impression about friendship, but it doesn't matter who you are. You can be very, very different. You can be, in fact, more different than you can ever imagine. And you can still be friends. Sully and Mike, two completely different animals, completely different characters from completely different parts of the Monsters, Inc. universe. And they end up together. They support each other. They're good friends to each other and help each other out when they're faced with difficulties. So, friendship. I'm sure you've guessed that by now. Friendship is the word and the value that we're looking for. So the only way to have a friend is to be one. I really hope that over these last few weeks when we've been thinking about this, you've realized how important and how precious it is to have friends around you. And I really hope you've also seen how important and precious it is to be a friend to someone. Someone who needs you today, this week, last week. So let's have a little think about what qualities a friend has and see whether you are able to be like that for your friend this week. So a friend should be honest. Remember when Nala said to um uh, to her friends that he did need to be king. He did need to go back. She was being honest. Sometimes difficult, but honest. A friend needs to be a good listener. Someone who can actually think, okay, my friend needs to talk. My friend maybe is a bit upset. My friend maybe just needs to say something and I don't need to speak, I just need to listen. And then perhaps I can give them some advice or help them. A friend needs to be trustworthy. Trust is such an important value, isn't it? A friend needs to be someone who you know will be there, who you can trust, who you know won't talk behind your back, who you know won't lie about you or say nasty things about you. A friend is encouraging. Don't we just love it when our friends say, do you know what, I think you're doing really well. Or do you know what, you look great in that outfit. Or do you know what, I was really, really pleased to be, spend some, some time with you today. An encouraging friend, how does that feel when someone says that to you? It feels really nice inside, doesn't it? Okay, a friend is someone who is caring. Fundamentally, all of those characters that we saw, they cared for each other. Because if they didn't care for their friends, they wouldn't swim across the ocean for them or go through mountains and over mountains for them or go into the Monsters, Inc. universe for them. They just wouldn't do it because they wouldn't care. A friend is there for you when you need them. I think that many of our characters absolutely needed friends at a very crucial time. And when you have a friend who's there for you, when you need them, my goodness me, isn't that great to, for them to be around? 
A friend is someone who gives you compliments. Everyone likes to be told, oh, your hair looks really lovely today, or you look great today. It's super for be able to say that to someone and know that it makes them feel nice. And someone who asks if you're okay, that means that they're looking out for you. Someone who notices maybe when you're a bit sad, maybe notices when you're a bit lonely or a bit on your own. Isn't it great if you've ever, ever been like that on the playground? When someone says, oh, are you okay? Do you want to, do you want me to spend time with you? Isn't that really, really encouraging? Now, I think out of all the Disney characters that I know, Woody and Buzz are possibly the best example of friendship. Through four Toy Story films, they have gone through everything together. When they got together, if you can remember from Toy Story 1, they didn't actually like each other. Woody thought Buzz was there to take over the role of Andy's best friend. Woody felt threatened by um, Buzz. Woody really, really didn't like Buzz and in fact plotted to kill him. But over the four Toy Stories, they became inseparable, the most incredible friends. Were they there for each other? Did they trust each other? Were they really good friends? They absolutely were. And I think, I know that nearly all of you will have seen at least one of the Toy Story films. I'm sure you can think of a time, maybe, when Woody was there for Buzz and the other way around. Woody trusted Buzz and the other way around. And they showed that they were really, really good friends. One of the things that um, Buzz said was, if I'm ever afraid you help me pull through, I'm proud of you, Woody. They stuck with each other and in fact many, many times they saved each other's lives. So a friend, just like Buzz and Woody, is someone who is there for you, even when they'd rather be somewhere else. It's not always easy to be a friend, but if you're there for someone when you'd rather be somewhere else, that is a great sign of friendship. And if you think about um, the Tangfastics, the Haribo Tangfastics, and you think about all of those sweets in there. I think friendships are like the cherries in there. Can you see in the middle? All the other Tang Fastics are on their own, but the cherries, they're two stuck together, just like really good friends. So have a little reflection now. How are you going to be a good friend this week? All those characteristics that we said good friends were, are you going to be a good friend? Perhaps this is the week when you're really going to need a good friend. Who knows? But whatever the week holds for you, just make sure that your friends are there and you are a good friend to someone. Now, your teacher's going to finish this by playing a clip from Toy Story and we'll see Woody and Buzz show each other just how much of a good friendship they have. And while the song is playing, have a listen to the words and think very carefully about how you can be a friend to those around you. Okay, have a good week, everyone. <laughs>